Hello there. This is David at Winco, and I want to show you a very um, simple and elegant way of being able to automate the process of label printing, of being able to get data, in this case from a simple text file, into a label. And normally I'd be printing this onto um, something like a thermal transfer printer. I don't have one connected here, so I'm just printing to a PDF file. So I'm going to close the PDF file because I want to overwrite it in a second and for my text file basically all that I need to do is save it and the action of saving it is going to print it as a PDF using the format that I made and let me close this again and let's say I want to um, print a few more labels this time I first of all put in my barcode I put in the location, let's say the location is going to be the lobby in this case. The name of the product, well let's have a, a scanner. I've got four of them and I want to print five of this particular label. I do the same thing, I save my file and wait just a second and here are all my labels exactly as I asked them to be. So how does this work? It's um, obviously not magic. And what I'm doing is I'm using um, some of the really clever features that are built into the products from my good friends at Seagull Scientific. And if you're using Bartender, which is um, my personal favorite label software, if you buy the automation version and above, it comes with a companion application called Commander, which I actually have minimized to the system tray here. So let's bring that up to life. And what Commander does is it allows labels to be printed using data from other applications and you can imagine in the case of my simple text file it will be quite easy to set up um, an ERP system or some or some other kind of um, software system just to produce a text file with the label information whenever a labeling event is um, is needed and commander then will grab that data and put it into a label for me so let me just open up my um, little set of rules here and you'll see how this how this works. Um, first of all, I'm for the trigger. I'm using um, a file in this case a text file. I could use an email. I could set up a system to send an email with the label data. I could use a serial port. Let's say that we're watching the serial port for a way scale or a PLC or, or something like that. Or I could use a um, network socket. But I'm going to stick to my file. So. Basically, I'm just um, telling Commander where to look for it, in this case on my desktop, and the name of the files to look for. And if I go into the Commands tab, what I've done is that, um, first of all, I've chosen my barcode label format. And what I'd done before um, I set the demo up, I had just made a simple label format that um, where the fields on the label coincide to the um, items on the in the text file so so that's so that's pretty simple I had also um, just told it that when I go through this process I want it, I want it to print and when I'm finished I'm going to delete the file otherwise I can rename the file and keep them if I want to have a, a record a record of it and the other tabs and for this simple application I don't I don't need to do so it's um, that simple. A lot of people that have bought Bartender Automation have um, Commander and some other potentially very helpful applications that um, quite often don't get used. Uh, certainly worth exploring. So if it's something that you think that Winco could help you with, give me a call. 603-598-1553. My extension here is 237. And let's talk about how we can make your label printing work um, easier for you and make your job easier. Thanks so much for watching.